Hey, I'm with Mike at Premier Pet Supply. We're always talking about dogs and cats, but there are tons of other pets out there. Rabbits and guinea pigs are pretty popular too. They really are. But they have a specialized diet. Absolutely, and I think a lot of people just assume you can put a bowl of food in the sure. cage and they'll be fine. Right. And that's not the case, and we want to make sure we take care of them like we would any other pet, and like we would take care of ourselves. So a varied diet is ideal. Okay. Um, you know, mixing in vegetables, fresh vegetables like kale. Rabbits and guinea pigs really need a lot of vitamin C, and kale is a natural source of vitamin C, which a lot of people may not realize because you think oranges. Right, yeah. But oranges are very acidic, so you don't want to give them that. Okay. Um, vegetables are good too, but you want to do that, you know, uh, you know, not a lot, but just about maybe 5% of their diet. But the ideal thing then to do and to know is we've got some hay that I uh, have here. And that it's an is probably. It's right, alfalfa, Timothy hay. This is the, probably the uh, basis of the diet of any rabbit or guinea pig. Should be 70% oh, of their diet. Really? So you want to make sure this is something that's always accessible and always in the cage and readily available. And what should you be looking for in packages when you're shopping? So you don't want to be uh, swayed by fancy, cartoony packaging, but you want to find uh, farms that are um, you know, focused on getting the best quality haze and ingredients and more natural no sugars in the diets okay no uh, colorful you know, uh, you know looking type of options like you'd find in some right. like cereals you don't want it to look like lucky charms right you know. you know what are the differences primarily between dog and cat food and what your guinea pig or rabbit might be eating well the biggest difference is uh, the uh, animals that like guinea pigs and rabbits are vegetarians and you know okay. so you're not looking for any meat or anything like that unless you're getting into hedgehogs and ferrets and things like oh, that gotcha. and then we're looking Looking at something completely different. How much do they even eat in a day, on average? They eat quite a bit. I mean, really? a, um, a bowl that we showed with the kale in it, they'd uh -huh. eat at least that much. So this, in a day? Absolutely, yes. Wow, all yeah. right. Well, thank you so much, Mike. That was great advice. So if you've got rabbits, guinea pigs, we've got food for chinchillas as well. That's right. And it's a very specific diet, so you make sure you talk to the experts before you purchase anything. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. I like, uh, you know, more than cats and dogs. There's other pets we got to take well, care of. Well, that's right. I love these segments, too. <laughs> Thanks, Sean.